Last week, we talked a little bit about why I decided to buy an RV and live in it full time. This week, we're going to talk about how. So I think there's a common misconception that travel is expensive and thus RV life will be expensive. But that's not the case for me personally. So for me, RV life is going to be a lot cheaper than traditional apartment or house living. As a lot of you know, I spent a lot of money living in LA the past uh, year and couple months. And it's just going to be a lot cheaper. I may have mentioned before, if not I should have, I'm not going to be driving around so much. It's not going to be daily travel all the time. It, I'm sure it'll happen occasionally where I'll want to just get out of an area I didn't like where I camped or where I stayed the night before. But generally I'm going to spend at least a few days at one location. So that's going to save a ton of money. Overall I expect most everything to be cheaper. There are a lot of upfront costs that come along with being a quasi homeowner. But the monthly costs I will have are inevitably going to be less than what I had uh, in Los Angeles especially, but even just any apartment I've lived in over the years. RV life only gets more expensive if your lifestyle changes and your spending habits become higher. That's basically it. Um, just like living anywhere. It's no different. So the big reason that I'm personally able to live in an RV full time is I can work remotely, which I already had been doing uh, living in LA. The reason I moved to LA really was to become a full-time freelance writer. I didn't really do that, but I also found out that I don't want to work that much. I want to devote time to things like YouTube that I'm at this point obviously not making any money, but maybe parlay that into something at some point, but I, I, I just want to be passionate about what I do and I want to enjoy what I do and for the most part I do. So I moved to LA in May 2017. I've been working at the daily newspaper in small desert town of Yuma, Arizona. And I moved to Los Angeles to pursue freelancing full time. So even people I know don't entirely get what I do because it's, I mean, it's a foreign concept to a lot of people as far as I'm able to work from anywhere in the country, anywhere I can get a cell phone signal and internet. So I work for Replay Magazine. It's a trade publication based in the Los Angeles area. I started writing in about June 2017, and it's always been a remote position. Um, at some point, a couple months after I started, they gave me the title of editorial assistant. The magazine covers the coin-operated game business, so arcades, um, think Dave and Buster's, all that uh type of stuff and there's a lot more to it but um, I mainly write profiles on those types of businesses so my process is call some people on the phone write about it send it via email so whether you understand the job or not <laughs> I am able to work remotely and um, the job at replay is I, I call it a part-time job I probably work 10 to 20 hours a week it can be more it's been less as of late because I've taken some time off. Um, I was just in Michigan last week. So that's my main job. I do plan on making some other money writing as well. Um, doing other things like I'm currently in town here in Centralia, Washington working for the Chronicle newspaper. I'm just doing a few articles every now and again. I'm looking to do that elsewhere as well. I've been thinking early on to make some extra money. I'm planning on sticking around the Las Vegas area for a month or two after I leave here in early October. And so I've been thinking about going driving for Lyft again and just making a few extra dollars that way. The overall picture for this video is I'm able to make money a few different ways. Photography is another one that I really need to focus on and spend some time trying to make money doing that. If you want to buy a photo, go to my website, mattheartingphotography.com. Buy something from me it basically will end up going either into this RV or in this channel or into camera equipment later down the line stuff like that. I don't really spend money on too many things. A source of income is really all you need to RV full-time 
just enough to put enough gas in the tank or uh, whatever else you're doing and want to do. You guys heard today how I do it or how I will do it once I get out on the road full time. I'd like to hear in the comments section below what you guys do if you're full timers or looking to some ideas you have maybe for the future for yourself. Let me know and I think I'll share in the description below some solid resources for remote work or just some good ideas and that type of thing for those of you who want to uh, possibly work from the road. Stay tuned for next week. We will be in Toronto. Took a trip to see a Blue Jays game with my buddy AJ. Made just a short video in the vein of something I'd like to do when I take trips in the RV. Thanks for watching everybody. See you next time on the road and on the run. I think it's too corny, but we'll we'll try it out.